Hey guys, it's Luke and well, I've made it to Salt Lake City in Utah and well, what better place to visit while in... <sighs> Simon's enjoying the snow. What better place to go... Ah. When you're in Salt Lake City, then the great Salt Lake itself and yes, I will get you back, Simon. You won't know where, you won't know how, but it will happen. So, yes, here we are at the great... <laughs> he just picked up a full rock that time. The great Salt Lake of, I guess, Salt Lake City's namesake. Yesterday was a gorgeous sunny day. We uh, slept in, visited the Salt Lake City, Whereas today it's uh, a little bit gloomier, but still doesn't make this place any less impressive. It's a very big salt lake, just still not over being surrounded or even just this close to mountains. And then the lake just disappears. And behind us as well, snow-capped hills and mountains. It's just absolutely, even the worst view here in Salt Lake City is still quite a breathtaking and gorgeous view. All right. Maybe let's head down to the beach, or at least down to the rocks there, and have a closer look at the water and here we are at the beautiful silver sands beach oh look at that gorgeous sand mm, gorgeous lush silver sands there we go so if you're ever interested to uh visit this place it's not free because it's part of the utah state parks uh, but it's only five bucks um and to, you know, to have a walk around for the day for five bucks. That's uh, really not that bad of a, bad of a pay. Um, I do have a national park annual pass now. So who knows if I'll be coming back to visit another national park. But it ended up being cheaper buying that than buying entry to all the separate national parks that we visited um, along the way as well. So there's always that. Um, but this place is just like Port Piri. <laughs> as Simon points out. Um, wow, people love stacking rocks. It seems to be a thing in parks. I'm not sure whether it's a good thing for the environment, but it sure does look pretty to see people's different takes on stacking the rocks. And wow, this water is so still. It's not frozen. As you can see, by the way, it's lapping up there on that rock. And the little raindrops and over there we have Simon and quite a nice backdrop there because you know I'm just one of those people oh you just fucking ruined someone's whole family swear jar and much like a lot of the other places that we visited on our trip, this place is quite uh, serene. Um, even though it is, you know, pretty much right next to a, a motorway. Um, it's just very peaceful. I'd like to come out here maybe in the spring or the summer and see how different it is. Like whether there's less water in this salt lake or that sort of thing. But... Uh, as for being like a Silver Sands Beach, uh, I don't get why it's called Silver Sands Beach. This isn't Silver Sands. Silver Sands is in Adelaide. <laughs> and you can drive your car on it. Simon's just trying to walk everywhere. Oh, no, there's a rock oh, there. there. There's a rock there. There you go. Oop, I almost tripped on one, so there you go. Yeah, but, there uh, go. Oh. World record. There we go. And there we are, the great salt lake. 
I mean, I don't know how many different angles I could probably get from this place. I mean, it stretches far, far north to here. If we have a look at Google Earth, it's a huge, huge lake. Simon thinks it's being funny with snowballs. But, uh, yeah, now that I turn the camera. Oh, and he misses. But then again, you miss 100% of the shots you don't shoot. So. Wait, if I hit the lens, is that bad? That's very bad. It damages oh. the lens, yeah. It would have been like a good transition. Or something. All right, but before we head out, let's check out the visitor center. He's already been there. And here is a map of the Great Salt Lake. Who else had sea monkeys when they were growing up? I know my brother did and Simon did. And here, like the high salt concentrations allow for the brine shrimp to actually thrive. And now we're back in the safe confines of the warm car. Uh, now we're heading off to dinner. And after that, who knows? But for this vlog, that'll do. That'll do vlogs, that'll do. Um, so yeah, until the next one, guys. Au revoir. Later that night. Well, I have finally done it. I have um, arranged everything for the final few days that I'll be here for. So officially I am leaving now the United States on January 31st. <sighs> it really doesn't feel real that I'm actually leaving this place. I want to stay. I really do. Um, I mean, even now, like, here for dinner at this really cool uh, prairie schooner place. Um, I haven't been inside yet, so... But yeah, still, I just thought I'd take this time to let you guys know. Um, 31st so there we go be flying here from well I'm not in Salt Lake I'm in Ogden at the moment but flying from Salt Lake City to Dallas then from Dallas to Sydney Sydney to Adelaide Ooh, so I'll be back in Australia guys on the 2nd of February and that is when I guess act three of this three-part play begins um gosh it's it's been a ride it really has thank you for everyone who's either been following along on the vlogs or just being interested in my life in general <laughs> it's uh it's been a ride and um hopefully this isn't the last time i step foot in this country um fingers crossed good things happen this year that allow me to come back um yeah so 31st Lights are booked. My final stretch of accommodation is booked. The car hire extended for a few more days. And I just also sent off a suitcase. So I only have to deal with a carry-on, a suitcase, and a backpack when I'm flying. Two suitcases. And yeah, because sadly, I'm, I'm not going to Singapore. Hopefully, I'll be doing that for my birthday in, uh, in a few, few more weeks' time. Just ended up a lot cheaper than flying via Singapore. So, um yeah that's that's still coming up but wow this uh this american journey is finally coming to an end i hope everyone is well i i will be right now it's just a lot of emotions going through my head at the moment um and still some unresolved issues in the background which need to be cleared up soon those i will talk about in a future vlog depending on either way that it goes um, because it's a load of crap um, but it happens when you're surrounded by people with very low emotional intelligence um, anyway that's that again hope everyone's doing well and I'll either catch you on another Instagram update or on the vlogs alright guys bye